Ada, huh? What? Have you suddenly gone blind? Or didn't you see me here? Nina, who are you talking to? Or more? No, am I the one you are asking if I have suddenly gone no! blind? No! I am talking to myself because I've gone mad. Of course you are mad. You are definitely mad because I don't see why you would wake up this early morning and ask me such stupid and senseless question. Eh? Esther! First of all, Linda, my question is not senseless and useless. Hmm. Second of all, I am your elder sister. Yeah. You can't just come out here and start sweeping on me without a word of greeting. Chai, mommy, our ancestors, you are waiting for greeting. Hmm? You are waiting for greeting. Nene, go to the bank. Go and tell them that I am the elder sister to Linda. Let them give you all the money they have in the bank. You are waiting for greeting. You are waiting for Linda to greet you. You are a joker. You, you are, are a joker. You are the joker, Linda. Uh. Because God said the man's that as your elder sister, uh. You should accord me that respect. It is not <laughs> negotiable. My sister, it is very negotiable. Very, very negotiable. You are looking for greeting. You are looking for greeting. Esther, do you know what you are? You are an old, frustrated, rejected, unwanted cargo. That is what you are. Teacher one joko. You have been marking since morning. That is what you are doing. Teacher. You're looking for who? No, come on, wait for greeting. You want to see greeting? Yeah, yeah. See greeting, auntie. Look at the greeting here. Come on, take it. You're looking for greeting. Greeting killed here. Yes. Now shift the call. Before you say Linda started pouring sand on you, know me, I'm a very quiet person. I don't like trouble. People shift. You know, I'm the only one that does the chores in the house. Mama will always allow you to sit down. Please shift your leg, our royal highness, so that I can sweep the ground. Do you know walking past your elder sister in the morning without greeting her is unethical? Linda! Mama, Mama, as far as I am concerned, greeting is a two-way traffic thing. If I greet her, she greets me. We are fine. Even if I don't greet her first, if she sees me and greets me first, will heaven fall? Will the sky come down? Yeah! Oh, because it's too early for this, so. Linda, Linda, you are crossing your boundaries. <laughs> Linda, if I take a drastic decision against you, <laughs> Linda, you are fair and fragile. If I take a drastic decision against you, Linda, I swear you have a shattered dream. Yeah, one name, and when oh. Though, it's a more of our time. Don't be angry. You want me to have shattered dream? Look at you. Take a good look at your life from your head to your toe. Are you not shattered already? Will you shut up your is mouth? your dreams not shattered already? This is a clear case of back to center. You want to shatter my dream? No, don't come and shatter. I break it. You want to shatter dream? Will you shut that mouth? Mama, bigo, bigo, bigo. Will you close it up? And apologize to her right now. Have you forgotten that she has been the one funding your university education? You have forgotten of where? Mama, if your husband, Chionye, was responsible and sensible enough, he should be the one taking care of my education. Is he not my father? Oh, yeah, wa, mom. Is she my mother or my father? My father is supposed to be taking care of my education. But because she's taking care of my education, you people will not allow me rest. Anything I do, Linda do this. Linda do that. You people will not kill me in this house. If it's because of the school fees you are paying, mommy, it is enough. Don't pay again. Leave it. I will drop out of school and stay at home. Period. What are you talking about? Mm. Your father's pension. That does not even come regularly. I want to ask you, what can it buy? What can that pension buy? Can it buy also? Can it buy also? And you are here jumping, you are blabbing. Mama, eh? bring your voice down. You know you have high BP. I don't want you to fall here. Mm? Mother Teresa. The school fees that you have paid is enough. Thank you very much and God bless you. Don't worry. Don't pay again. I will stay at home. I have said before and I'm saying it again. Nobody should disturb me. I guess this meeting is over. Signing out. Bye-bye.
If I father, well, uh, you are indeed full of wisdom. Thank you for the compliments, father. But I must tell you, I'm really serious about the question I asked. It's all right. Um, if I may answer you, it is tradition that made it so. But father, yes. Is it also traditionally compulsory for traditional rulers to marry more than one wife? There you go again. Anyway, it is compulsory on the one hand and it is not compulsory on the other. Father, I am a bit confused. Can you kindly explain? <laughs> I know. I know you'll be confused. Let me explain. Traditional rulers marry so many wives in order to enlarge their families. Mm -hmm. It is just to depict their status in the society. On the other hand, um, uh, <coughs> long live your honors. You're welcome, Chief. You're welcome. The prince. Welcome. Always with the father. And always ask him many <laughs> logical <laughs> questions. <laughs> then I'll just take care of something. It's all right. I'll see you later. Iche. I know. Your Majesty. <clears throat> you are indeed a lucky man. I know. Prince, if I is full of wisdom, and will certainly make a wonderful leader into course. I believe you. <laughs> Please sit down, sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ah, thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> he is full of wisdom. Yeah, so how is the father? Well, okay. Just that um, this land is too much. Okay. Yes. Okay. I went to. So, what of you? Jesus, sister. My character is different. My grandma was a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. Asani! We are here. I've been looking for you. No, I'm at the backyard. What is it? Please, my dear. I want you to help me wash this my dirty clothes. I want to rush off to school to submit the marked assignments. Oh? Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Ah, be quiet, Sachel. Wait, wait. Did I hear you? No, no, let me hear correctly. Did I hear you say I should wash your clothes? Hey, it's not by force. I, I'm pleading with you. What plead with me? Pleader. You are pleading with who? Me, Linda, should wash your clothes. As what now? Esther, see eh? I will close my eyes and open it. If you don't take these clothes away from this place, eh, Makachuku, I'll set these clothes on fire. You know I'm not joking. You know I am not joking. Pack your clothes and leave this place. You will set my clothes. A blaze. Hmm. Linda, you hmm. will not do that. Eh? You cannot do it because washing my dirty clothes is not even close to all the things I've been doing. You can shut. That is the last thing you can do in this house. Mommy, who begged you to do those things for me? Did I beg you? Did I beg you to do anything for me? Esther, I am saying it again. You know, people, people always say Linda likes trouble. She likes to fight. She likes to quarrel. I'm on my own, Jejeli. Trying to be the fine girl that I am. You came here with your dirty clothes for me to wash. As what? Am I your maid? Am I walking under you? I'm asking you, Esther. Biko, Echimchuku, where yogi? Just pack these clothes quietly from here. If not, I repeat again, I will set these clothes on fire. Biko. <laughs> Linda, a day is coming when we shall get mad together. That day, we will know who is who in this house. I hate procrastination. Esther, I hate procrastination. Whatever you want to do, do it now. Yeah, Let yeah, us start yeah. it here. Esther, what is going on here? Why are two of you making noise? Papa, 
Don't you know that Linda is your kid sister? Oh, -ho. I am very happy that you know that I am a kid sister. Biko, I'm begging you, one Esther. One Esther, let her stay away from me. She should stop looking for my trouble. I am begging her. I am begging her, Papa. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I will, her. I will do that, but remember that Esther is her elder sister. Yachionye. Who? Oh? Who called you into this matter? See, as you are calling my name. Is your name not Yachionye? When your father gave birth to your boggy, Papa. Oh, okay, but now. I forgive you, Yachionye. Hey. Papa, I am begging you. Oh, we back. Leave me alone. I did not even call you into this matter. So stay away from it. Hey. Please. Linda will stay on her own. You people will say she's too quiet. When I talk, you people will say she's talking. Biko, leave me alone. You people should just leave me alone. Where can we do when you're sober? Mm -hmm. No, no, my feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, people will not allow somebody. I will stay on my own. People will not allow me rest. Esther, that one, that two double left leg. I should come and wash her clothes. <laughs> Bring me around as if I am a hired slave. Linda, you are a liar. The Esther I know can never be rude or probably order you to go and wash her clothes. Oh, we are. You are a liar. That is it. Linda will never be believed because she is the acclaimed and renounced troublemaker of this house. Yes. I wasn't expecting less from you, Papa. Oh. It's okay. Okay, I'm not, I'm not here to mince words with you. Be warned. From today on, never you disobey Esther or insult her as. Else what, Papa? Else what? Yeah. That is it. Any issue that concerns us, you people will take sides with her. It's okay. It's all right. Linda is the troublemaker. I agree. No problem at all. Now, fine. Go inside here now. Pack all the clothes there. Go and watch them before I unleash my anger on you. Now! Instead, let me die, Papa. Linda! Papa, come walk. You want to it? Are you walking out on me? Papa, I am walking out on you. Hey, hey, you're Linda! Jesus Christ. Okay. Bye, Terem. I'm going to go to the house. Mother, our tradition is quite different. I have seen other traditional rulers who live in the city but come back home from time to time to supervise traditional matters. My son, tradition differs. Ours is typical and pure. Considering our essential emancipation. Mom, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't even expect you to understand. Because you are still a youth. But with time, you get to understand our tradition. Look at your father. He is Igbo Menal. And what does that imply? It implies that your father is in charge of both traditional and spiritual logistics of this our kingdom and shall never leave this kingdom to live elsewhere. But mom, how does that concern me? <laughs> My son, you are the heir to the throne. So you are expected to be with your father always in order to understand the royalty. Mother, honestly speaking, I find this task very, very crazy. I don't find it funny at all. <laughs> My son, you should be happy that our tradition is no longer stringent as before. Was it in those days you would not have acquired Western education? I beg your pardon? Tell me you're joking. You can confirm from your father. Oh. <laughs> oh. Linda is so obstinate and incorrigible. Eh? The worst is that she derives pleasure in insulting her at every little provocation. Not you. Um, my wife, I beg you to call her to order. Because if Esther decides decides against helping her, <laughs> she will pack her, she will drop out of school. You have started. I know you. Yes. You have started. You're not, manip you not manipulating. You want to push it to me. Yes. Come, woman. Wash your tongue before you start you are before you start insulting me. Exactly. Wash your tongue. Yeah, exactly. I've not even started the insult. And you are not pushing me into it. You want to discharge me with style. Whenever it is time for us to discuss issues that affects our family, you bring insult or you bring an to send me away. 
Okay. I'm okay with this issue. I know who Esther resembles. And who? No other person than you now. She took after you. She resembles you. Honestly, I no longer enjoy this marriage. No, I'm enduring it. Uh? Yes, I'm enduring it. This marriage. This marriage, I am enduring it. How long have you been enduring it? I married you when you were 18 years. And you are enduring it. What the ma? Is this your sister? You are running away now. You don't want to be part of the discussion. You are running away. Don't worry. Don't worry. It will be there with us. Don't just give me that look. Don't you ever try it. I am disappointed at you. I am disappointed at you. Here, Linda. What is it? Mama, why would she touch my phone in the first place? Why would she touch my handset on Apuala? Why would she touch Will it? Will you keep quiet? Mama, Who is mad? That girl buys you credit every day. And so? And so? She should just count herself lucky that you are the one that used the credit, Mama. Else, I would have broken that phone right in front of you. Linda, you are a devil, a demon insult, you are the devil's first daughter, you are the devil's wife, look, let me warn you, one fine day, I will allow Esther to dismantle you, Mama, she will beat you to a Mama, point. on that fine day, be ready to lose your daughters, because we will kill ourselves, what did you be say? ready to bury the two of us, what did you say, everything is about Esther, Esther, what are you saying, are you are walking out on me, yay, Linda, Linda, wait for me. My queen, <laughs> inform my adorable Lola. Stop me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, you must understand that things are changing rapidly in this world right now. Some of the things we avoided in the past are now seriously trending. So you have to catch up with the time, my dear. Hmm. You are right. Ethics are ethics. To me, the norms and values of our tradition must be observed in order to avoid the wrath of the gods. Hey! Lola, the Lola, the Lola. <laughs> <laughs> you are now more traditional than me, the king. Eh? So you now you are the second custodian of our custom and traditions. Eh? That is impossible. <laughs> Not at all. I'm only trying to implement what you taught me as your law. Uh, and uh, 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 <laughs> I have to defend the cause. Yeah. Your Majesty. Ah. My beautiful daughter. <laughs> you are blessed. Mama Lecham no. Just see that, see that. The food is ready. Should I break it? Oh, no. Hope you prepared it well. I did. At least I tried my best. Mm, that's my baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, just tell me. I want you to know that there is dignity in labor. Just tell me. Are you not happy to accomplish the task? Yes, Mom. I pledge to improve in future times. I promise. <laughs> That's my daughter. <laughs> I trust you. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. So, do I bring the food now? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> this arrangement is for my stomach, right? Yes. yes. Our loving king. My, no, my, my loving king. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, Linda, as I was saying, we have been friends since childhood. And I stand to correct you whenever you misbehave. And vice versa. That's true. So, am I permitted to register my annoyance over your continuous hatred towards your sister? Cherigodo Stella, don't tell me this whole parable you've been given. It's because of my sister. No, you did not call me here to to talk to me about that witch, did oh, you? Oh, please, please. Can you quit the name calling and all manner of insults? And at least listen to me. Okay. I'm listening. But truthfully, if you ask me, I really don't want to hear anything that has to do with Esther. 
But go ahead. Linda, God is not a man. He is not human. And I know he did not make mistake bringing you both as sisters. So therefore, whatever God has joined together, you, my friend, should not put asunder. Yeah. Stella, you know we have, we have been friends. Really good friends for a very long time. But now there's something about you that I'm seeing. You are changing. You are changing from the person Can you are. Can you please shut up? <laughs> hey! Shut up! What are you talking about? How dare you utter such words? What nonsense? No, what nonsense are you sensing? Don't tell me what are you sensing? Oh, you are of the fact that justifies you insulting your older sister morning, afternoon, and night. Are you? Um, Auntie, it's obvious you have overstayed your welcome. No, you came to my own house to give me advice. No, by force to take advice. In a same shop up in my own father's house. Your Lord, you need to go. Go. Oh? Thank you for the advice. I've heard everything you have to say. Mwa. Please leave. I have things to do inside. You don't want to listen to anybody. No problem. So why do we continue? But make sure you bring home an award. I will. You feel like I won't get an award, Nata. Continue. Hey. Nonsense. Oh, go on, nonsense. Hey, I regret calling you my friend. Lele. Get out. Okay, the person I, I, I'm managing as a friend. Just managing you. You're coming here to give me advice. Chukuna Bogoku. Stupid thing. Don't even know why I gave you seat. You should have stood the whole time you were talking. It's yours. You're going to advise me. Oh, God, I'll die together. Let no man put us on. Don't go to the church and, and, and start teaching. You're coming here to tell me nonsense. No, no. Chill out. Take. As for Esther, she will regret ever being my sister. It's yours. I am so excited. <laughs> Do you know that this royal family is different from what I've heard of others? Hmm. Explain. In this royal family, everyone is being treated equally. And apart from our uniform as maidens, a visitor can hardly know or strike the difference. <laughs> My dear friend, you are right. In fact, you are saying the truth. But you should know that His Royal Majesty is a man that believes in pure tradition and practices without prejudice. Even the Lolo does not discriminate. My dear friend, I am happy to be part of royalty, even though it's under the capacity of a maiden. So what did you come to do if not to be a maiden? <laughs> what do you want to hear is my little secret to the gods. <laughs> So funny. But I love so it here. Excited. I mean, I am so happy. Oh, it's like heaven on earth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my princess. It's good to see you this morning. It's good to see you too. Okay, you know I've been doing the house shares, uh -huh. and I came here to help you out. Oh, no, 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 my princess. Come on, we can handle this. Yes, we can. We can handle this. That's our job. Okay, and by the time I get married, both of you will be there to wash my husband's pan. Of course, my princess, you know that is not correct. Definitely, you will get married to a prince, and you will have maidens at your beck and call. Afoma. My princess. Love has nothing to do with royalty, status, and whatever. It is a thing of the heart. So right now, we are doing this together. Hold it. Uh, oh, my princess! My princess! My princess! My princess! Don't do this! Other kingdoms come here to inquire whenever they are in confusion. Hmm. You understand? But, but, but how do you know these things, Onyeka? <laughs> my prince. Yes. Uh, my father used to be the chief priest of Amadio Adeiti. Hmm. So, as the first son, I am to take over from him according to our tradition. 
So tell me, would you still take over from him now that you're a palace guard? Why not? Being a palace guard is a preparation for me to take over. Oh, you understand? That's nice. I'm just... So tell me, how, how do you communicate with the chief priest? Uh, well, we communicate very well because the chief priest cannot do anything without my consent. Anytime he wants to do something, he must seek permission from me first. Hmm. As the main person. You understand? So, I'm not worried. Onyeka, I find you very brave. And I bow before you. My prince, I will remain loyal to you. Linda! Linda! Yeah? I am suspecting every move you make. Most especially when it has to do with your sister. Yes! The hatred you have for your sister is so amazing. Which is not supposed to be, Mama. Yeah! Are you in any way insinuating that I could do something to harm my own sister? Linda, your attitude and behavior shows it all. Yes! Well, let me tell you something. There's something you don't know. Tell and me. let me remind you. Remind me. The anger of a blood sister does not remain in your port for too long. Hey, yeah, advisor of the Federation. Thank you for the advice. Advice taken. But that same advice, you see the same energy you used to give me this advice, use it to give my own sister. That girl, she will be for me as if she's a good person. When I'm here, I'm going to make a good one. Thinking that she's the good one. But her heart is as dark as a child. Will you shut up? Huh? Keep quiet! Hey. Okay. Shut your mouth before you open your mouth and say rubbish. Thank say you. abominable words. Thank you very much. Linda, hmm? do not allow me regret the day I gave back to you. Me? Yes. I regret being alive, being in this family, and having Esther as a sister. Mama I would have been at peace if I was dead. Dad! Mechono! Now leave my side. Huh? Leave here! Don't get what your first they do here. That speech you tell they bath me. Hey, Linda! Who are you talking to? They bath me with speech. Here. Yeah. Paul advise your own daughter too. Here. Yeah. Is this one a child or what? This one. This one, Linda, wait for me. Wait for me. Uh -huh. um, Linda. Mm -hmm. You see? This one this disobey me this time and I will destroy you. Don't try my patience. Papa, it's not the first time I'm hearing it. You've always threatened to disown me, so why do you? The only problem is that I will not go to the farm without Esther. Esther must go with me. I am not a slave, Papa. I'm not. Linda, you don't have respect. But let me inform you. You can disobey your mother and call Esther a, a waste paper. But try me this time. Try me. Because it is becoming too much of you. You want me to go to the farm alone? Okay? Yes. No problem. That is the order. I will go to the farm. I'm, I'm, I'm going out. And don't keep your mother waiting in, 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 the, in, in the farm. Don't keep your mother waiting in the farm. Oh. Chief Tionye, I have heard you. Oh? You are calling me my name. Papa, when God gave birth to you, your parents named you. Is that not your name, Papa? Papa, I said I will go to the farm. I don't want to be disowned. Oh, thank you. Go to that farm now. Go to the farm. Papa, I said I'm going now. Okay, 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 okay. okay. But if you don't go to that farm, so what are you? What are you Are you sure these people are my parents? Everything Linda. Linda do this. Linda do that. Esther. Esther! Wanu. Papa, so what are you? I'm going to the farm, oh? It's alright like that, okay? Okay, I'm just. Alright. So I should leave it out. Oh yes. No problem. Um, eyes of the gods, your majesty. Uh, please continue. What did the gods say about um, the consequences of anyone disobeying their instructions? Your majesty, do you have any intention of disobeying the gods? Not at all. I mean, you know me. I have not. And I will never dream of disobeying the gods. And of course, as a court traditionalist, <laughs> There's no way I would think of anything like that. Uh, Your Majesty, the gods have very good plans for this kingdom. Therefore, the rituals must be carried out according to the instructions. Uh, certainly we must do that. Yes. yes, of course we must do that. But 
We also expect to get their blessings, particularly in the area of bumper harvest this year. Your Majesty, bumper harvests, plenteous rain, they have been short this year. Your Majesty, I shall be on my way. Eyes of the gods, it shall be well with you. So, like we agreed, um, come uh, Ekunku day, the rituals must be carried out. Okay, Your Majesty, I will be expecting your message. It's alright. We'll get that message. Go away. See you as you can say. Nah, greetings, sir. Greetings. Now, nah, for a very long time now, nah, I've not received any benefit from the shrine. What is going on? Oyeka. So you have grown as to question me about shrine benefits? No. Do you know what it takes? Or you think it is easy to be an intercessor between man and deities? No, nah, I don't understand you. Uh, am I am I I can't I cannot ask for my rights anymore. Uh, I am not comfortable with this your answer at all. I'm not comfortable. Remember, you are answerable to me. Onyeka, things may not work out exactly the way you think. As I speak with you now, I am on terms with the gods. Meaning that our tradition has been twisted or corrupted. I don't understand. I do not know what you mean by that. But the hand of the clock might be difficult to be turned back. Ah, yes. All right. I know what to do. I think I will have to meet my fathers to ask them if what you are doing is right. Good luck to you. There is no problem. Good luck. Can you believe? Can you believe my father? My father threatened to disown me. To disown me, Linda. <laughs> no, I don't have a problem, oh. I'm waiting for him to just carry out his actions. I even want to meet this family. I want to live so that I can have my peace. I am tired. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. After everything I said in... Oh. Stella, Stella. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Is it because of what happened the other day? Oh, gone. it's okay. I'm down. Linda, hmm? honestly speaking, I am being very careful of whatever I say to you. Because the last time, it was mochi and awful. You reminded me where they buried my placenta and I don't want that to happen again. Stella, so if I begin to remember everything, all the bad encounters we had, the insults you have given to me, won't you label me a murderer? Eh? Why would you keep in mind the things I said out of? I just said those things because I was angry that day. It's okay now. Hmm? Because you don't take corrections. You are the king of your kingdom. How do you mean? <laughs> Whatever you do is right in your own eyes. Like I said, I am sorry. I thank God you are not a friend that keeps in mind everything that happens between us. You don't keep my mistakes, you don't keep record of them, but please, Ozuko, it's okay. Um, that being said, since you know I am that one person that does not keep your mistakes, why don't you return the same gesture to your blood sister? Hey, 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 Biko, 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 Stella. Don't even go like yeah, I don't I don't even want to hear it. Don't mention Esther's name here. I am begging you. Esther's sins are beyond pardon. I cannot forgive that girl, even in my grave. If they bury Esther close to me, I will wake up and I will kill her again. Don't mention Esther's name. I don't want to hear it. Please. Is it that bad? 
But if I may ask, what is this sin of hers that is beyond pardon? It shall never ever go well with Esther. As long as I am alive and I still have breath in me, even in my grave, it shall never go well with her. Good morning, my ever wonderful, handsome prince. Good morning, a former the great singer. How are you today? I'm fine, my prince. Can I ask you a question? Of course, my prince. Go ahead. So you called me your ever happy prince. <laughs> Is that your personal opinion? My prince. Why do you ask? Um, I, I just, uh, I just asked. Yeah. Okay, uh, Afoma, can you kindly excuse us? Okay, my friends. Young man, you don't look happy. What's wrong? Yes, my prince. It's high time I left this palace and go and answer my calling. Nayogu is representing me in the shrine. He's about to overthrow me. Overthrow you? So if I understood you correctly, did you mean he's trying to take away your birthright? Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten the ancestral powers reigning in this kingdom? Imagine that good man trying to deny me of my right. I think I had better go and take up my position. I've come of age. But you know you can't make decisions like that without consulting the king, the ego of this kingdom. You have to speak to him first. Yes, I know, my prince. Good. Um, I hope Linda did not extend her stubbornness to the phone work today. Which Linda is that? Our Linda. I did not send Linda in the phone. Huh? I hope you are not pulling my legs. The same Linda that assured me that she was coming to join you did not show up. See, Onye, huh? when Linda comes, you ask her. As you can see, I'm very tired. I want to wash these things and go and rest. Oh? But, Ogeshi, have you seen the importance of good foundation? If only I... What foundation are you talking about, Ibiya? You have come again. Huh? You don't need to pretend. You know what I'm talking. Because when this girl was at her at younger age, whenever she heard and was supposed to be punished, you come in. Now you see it. You say it. I've always said it. What are you saying? I have always said it. That since after your retirement, you have changed. I'm not adding the love, you know. You have changed as a husband. I have to change. I changed because of your behavior. Because when I was telling you not, not to spread the rod and spoil the child, you did not accept it. Hey, Chonye, it. Oh, 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 Stop pointing accusing fingers into other people. Uh -huh. Yes, blame yourself for not playing the fatherly role in Linda's I'm life. Blame yourself for spoiling your child. Uh -huh. Yes. I should blame myself. Blame yourself. For spoiling my child. Yes. Have you seen it yourself now? Uh huh. Chonye. Uh huh. Ah, fam. Oh. You have seen her. Have you seen your, your handwork? Have you seen your own failure? Have you seen your handwork? Have you seen your failure? Yeah, Linda. Are you, 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 are you from ever? Okay. Linda. Hey. Linda. Where can we do new Okay. Turn the child, you will not. 
train a child, you know, you stop and you're looking for somebody to play. Chuanye, you are a highly respected Red Cap chief in this town. Actually. Therefore, you must do the biddings of the gods. What are you insinuating? Chuanye, forget the city life you are used to. Now that you are here in this village, okay. you must do things the way we do them. And what are those things you want me to do? Your ancestors are requesting a cow from you. What? And you must give them that cow to avoid that I know. A cow from myself? All these things you are saying are strange to me. They might sound strange to you, but bear in mind that I am not the one requesting for the cow. Our ancestors are asking you to kill a cow for them. Okay, I've heard you. <clears throat> I will think of it. Earlier the better. Better think fast and get back to me. Because if you fail to kill that cow for them and you proceed to eat meat at any burial ceremony, you may not live to tell the story. Myself? It is for your life. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Naichonia. Yeah. Your wife is calling me. She says she wants to see you. Linda, come here. Can't you greet us? Why not? Your wife is calling me. Is that why you should not greet us? Uh. <clears throat> Linda. Linda. Continue exposing your madness to the entire community. They are killing worship. Killing watching what? Who is community? Or name of community? Is that a name of a place, animal, or thing? Papa, I will greet whoever I want to greet. Nobody will flog me. It is my greeting, not their greeting. Otherwise, you are above the age of chastisement. Papa, that is not the reason I called you here. I called you for something very important. Yeah. Mm. Meanwhile, where is your mother you said was calling me? My mother is not the reason I called you. I need your attention, that's why I came to call you. I'm the one that wants to see why you. Why must you lie with your mother's name? Because that is the only way I can drag you to the house. Back to the matter that is very important. I need money. I need to buy my cream, mm -hmm. my soap, mm -hmm. every other thing. I need to change my wardrobe. I need money. Are you done? I don't have money. You have to wait for your sister Esther. Stop everybody where we are red cap, nine guess sense. So. Yes, I, I guess don't so. have money. So, Papa, if Esther does not come back, you will not give me money to buy what I want to buy. That Papa? is why you should respect her. If failure was somebody, you are a true definition of failure. Myself. Shame on you, Papa. Linda Moore. I don't know what you are. Papa. Linda. Why this trouble? Why this hatred? Every night and day. Every day and night. Justin, I rather we remain friends. Let's let's forget about love affair, please. This time you are a kind heart. And if you keep on turning me down like this, I will forever miss you. You're so sweet. I like the house of your heart. A kind heart. <laughs> How do you Well, I guess you gave your sister money, right? Yes, I did. After all the embarrassment she gave you the other day, even today, you still give her money. You see what I'm talking about? Well, that's that's nothing. I owe it to her to take care of her. She's my younger sister. No matter what she does. See, that is why I said you're the kind of woman I want. You have everything. Did I look for me? You're, you're, you're perfect. <laughs> Just say nobody's perfect. And I still maintain we remain friends. Hmm? So the maiden, our former, is giving me a green light. Why won't she? She's pretty and ambitious woman. Who won't like to be called a queen? 
So what do you think I do? Should I accept her advances? My prince, this is now a real decision. And as you know, I am not royalty. So you take a real stand. My friend, I understand that you're only a guard here. That's why you're my friend. I always come to you for advice. So tell me what you think. Well, if you ask me, I will suggest you give her a chance. Although you have to trade with care until you finally introduce the issue to your parents. <laughs> You see, this is why you're my friend. This is why I like you. Your advice is always very constructive and mature. Thank you, my prince, for making me your advisor. <laughs> Good. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Shall we? Let's give. On a serious note, Stella. I don't have time for any idiot boy in this village. I don't. Yet you do not have to discharge them with me. You have to apply diplomacy in your approach. And I will continue to insult them if they don't leave me alone. Ha ha, Puma Akabiko. But Linda, you know you should not blame the guys that are flocking around you. Rather, you should blame God Almighty for molding you beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> you. You know you're such a naughty naughty girl, right? And you're a friend to a naughty naughty girl! <laughs> no, but seriously, these boys, they turn me off. Just the sight of them irritates me. Ha! This is more reason why you should go for deliverance. Hey! <laughs> Prophetess Stella, maybe you're the one who conducts the deliverance. You need to go or not, Eleka? I believe it is high time you sat Linda down interview her because her hatred over Esther is becoming pronounced each passing day. Hmm? My husband, hmm? I think they know what they are doing. Damn. You see Linda, hmm. Linda wants attention. Oh, well. She wants Esther to draw her clothes and pet her. Hmm. Esther is the eldest, Linda is the junior wannabe. Yes? She, she, wants, she wants to get close. She wants attention. But you can bear me witness that um, Esther is showering her with love and affection. Yet, Linda does not accept or respect her. Is it going to be? You see, eh? My husband is Esther complaining. Mm, actually, she is not complaining. But, you know, so let's leave them alone. Okay. I'm the the biscuit. You did one. not give me your body with so many questions. <laughs> you finished the first one. You took the second one. You just gave me little. I'm hungry. Hey, <laughs> you're hungry. <laughs> you're hungry. Now what about that one for you? Okay. Why I'm concerned is this because they are all we have. Hmm? My husband. Hmm? <coughs> Let's leave them. Nah. Hmm. Now listen. Are you not noticing that Linda is enjoying what is happening? Okay, ma. Yes, because she's getting more from Esther. Have you forgotten? I'm trying to believe you now. Exactly. You are right. Exactly. <laughs> so let us leave them alone. Eh? And do our own. Do our own. You finish it? Are you sleeping? <laughs> Mama? You're shaking. What is it? You're sick. Chimo. Mama? When did this sickness start? Last night. I don't know that I will survive last night's attack. Hey. It was terrible, it was too much. Hey! Oh. What kind of sickness is this, Bikono? I know what to do. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll, I'm coming. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. 
Mama. I am back. Okay? I'm going to let me prepare something for you. Okay? You'll be fine. Okay. I promise you, you'll be fine. Yes, my daughter. Yes, my daughter. Oh. Uh. My prince, so yeah. if you want to shoot, aim at your target, close one of your eyes, and shoot. Huh? Okay. So I aim at my target, and I shoot. My prince, I'm troubled. What? I am troubled. Why are you troubled? It's over the issue I discussed with you the other day. About priesthood? Yes, my prince. What about it? I think I need to take permission from the king and go home and discuss the matter with my mother. Okay, that's fine. I'll speak to my father on your behalf. Alright, let's continue. No. I'll take a break. A break? Yes. Every time you hold brush, you hold biro or whatever, and you're dragging. There's no problem. I don't have a problem with you. Do you know what? Eh? You go inside and arrange those things for the soup. So when I come back, the both of us will go and cook the soup. In a new friend, Nico. Yeah. Mama, have you seen the problem I always have with you? No, can you see the problem I'm always having with you? What's your problem? You want to know? Yes. You are assigning all these chores to me, this job, because I'm always at home, right? Eh? Yeah. It's a question you're asking me. Of course, yes. You're at home, I'm seeing you, so you should go and do it. Oh, I should go and do it, right? Yes. Do you have any problem with that? <laughs> problem? Well, I say I have a problem. I don't have any problem. I don't. You are such a wonderful mother. Very, very wonderful. Wonderful at taking sides. Well done. What are you stupidly saying? What I am sincerely saying is that I, Linda, will stay at home as the good girl and cook. While your golden daughter will go out to see her boyfriend, when they finish taking her strength, she will come back home to come and eat the food that the stupid Linda cooked. So why, Dero? I don't have a problem, Mama. <laughs> mm. Esther, boyfriend? Mama, did I say boyfriend? No, woman, in fact, child friend. I am not touching anything inside that house until Esther comes back from where she went to and we will do the chores jointly. Damn it, Shona! Keep quiet! Close your mouth! I am talking, you are talking! You are stretching your eyes on me! Just try me! Don't cook it, oh! Uh, Don't do anything! Wait for me! Wait for me! When I come back, I will piss you! You are stretching your head, you are stretching your eye! You are... I will... Don't, don't, don't let me smudge you this time! Now, voila! You are stretching If you try it again, I will smack you on top of that chair! Don't, don't prepare that thing and let me come back. So why do you no sense. Wait for me. I will use you as usual. Mama. Stand up and take your tea. Try, try, try. My daughter, it's too hot. Yes. Hey. Mama, I know. I made it like that because that is what you need. It will warm your body. Hmm? Take more. Take more, take more.
My daughter. Mm -hmm. My God will bless you. Let's get back. My God will bless you. The most important thing now is for you to recover, okay? And one more thing, I need you to discuss with your children. I will. Yeah? I need you to discuss with your children to get you house help. It is not advisable for you to stay in this house all alone at your age, okay? My God, my daughter, you are right. I'm used to stay alone. It's not advisable for you. You need company. You need somebody by your side, okay? Don't worry. I will discuss that with them. Okay. Thank you. All right. Now you need to eat so you can take your medicine. Oh, you bought me medicine too? Yes, I did. God bless you. You're welcome. God bless you so much. It's okay, Mama. Eat. <sighs> eat, eat, eat. Linda! Linda! Yeah. Should I bring a megaphone for you to announce me? Why are you shouting like me? This whole afternoon, you're just shouting. Why? That is by the way. Yeah. Are you done with your domestic shows because I met your mother on the way? And she did not tell you what I said. What did you say? She did not tell you what I said. No. Papa, I will not lift a finger in this house until Esther comes back from that adulterous life and joins me to do the chores in this house. I won't do it. We will do it together. I don't trust life, you said. Come to that. Mm. When did Esther change to live a loose life as you suggested? Papa, you know what is annoying me? The fact that you are lying. Myself? Yes. The fact that you are pretending that you don't know what your daughter does. Papa, you are a red cap chief. Oh. Do the right thing. Say the truth before the gods of this land rise against you. How do you mean? What do you mean by that? Okay, I will explain. I explain. Since you cannot remember. Uh -huh. Tell me that you have not seen men come here to look for Esther. Host of men, Mama, Myself? Papa, there are plenty. Sometimes you will entertain them because of the money they dash you. No. You know, Papa. It is because of your life. Say the truth. I fly. Where is your friend? Yes. Don't trust me. Ah, they have finished giving you money. How will you not know? Eh? You better do the right thing, though. Do the right thing. You know, you just came back from your city. You don't know how the gods here operate. Do the right thing before a nigga cuckoo. Start behaving like him best style in this house. I should come and clean the house when Esther is out there enjoying herself. We will do the chores together. I'm waiting for her. Trust us, Olinda. <laughs> Justina, or whatsoever it is you call yourself, I do not care what you or any other lazy bone of your class say behind me. You know why? Because none of you is in my class. <laughs> A former. Nobody cares about the faceless class you think you belong. All I'm saying is, stop throwing yourself at the prince. Exactly what I mean. Is this not an act of jealousy or witchcraft? Or maybe you think that it is only when you fly at night that you are a witch. My dear, and how is it that I am the one throwing myself at the prince? Wait, so, a former. You think we are not watching you? Each time you serve the prince, the way you carry yourself seductively and suggestively, my dear, is very assuming. Mm. Justina, Justina, why are you crying more than the bereaved? The prince enjoys my company and there is nothing you or anyone in and out of that palace can do about it. <laughs> a former. You are just a butterfly, calling yourself a bird. Read my lips. <laughs> you are the last person in Prince Ifani's mind, if you don't know. <laughs> Bet me. The end will definitely justify the means. 
벗어 Linda, Mama, why would you think that a woman of that age eh, would tell lies and be this deceptive? Mama, Mama, these people, you see this old witch, this is their time. This age is the age they tell lies. <laughs>